Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. So cool, so now we have our withdraw player done. So now let's do our deposit player, which we're gonna use the UID and amount. So in this one, uh, pretty much a lot of the same things here. So I'm gonna copy this whole first chunk here because we really just need that big, big chunk up there. And let's paste it down here. Let's get our brackets up to par. Okay, so it's going to check for if they have an account. It's gonna uh, see if they're in the hash map, it's going to get them from the hash map. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and say double balance again equals player manager and dot uh, get balance. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to say player manager dot set balance. And it's going to be the same thing except for balance and plus the amount. And then we can return an economy response. I'm, not, I'm too lazy to type it out. And we can say you have been paid. Boom. So yeah. And then here we'll just go ahead and say uh, we'll just return. We'll just return null here, or we'll return the economy response. Player does not have an account. Cool. So if you guys hear some noise in the background, sorry, my roommates are home and uh, they got a dog. So okay. So now let's jump over to our pay command. And remember, this is everything from the previous uh, plugin here. So uh, let's go ahead and say, uh, I'm trying to think of what we should get rid of here. Probably, yeah, let's just get rid of all that. So we wanna check to see if they have the permission. If not, we'll send them a message. Uh, so what we want to say, we want to say if args dot length is equal to, uh, we want args two, we want two args. And so usage here is going to be plus amount and then the player it is going to. Okay, so if args dot length equals two. Uh, we want to go ahead and say int t -t 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 equals amount equals integer dot parse int and it's going to be args zero. We'll copy this, we'll change this to args one. We'll say this is a, uh, a string, because that's what it is. Oops. Come on. So we'll say string, and this is going to be player name. And we don't need to parse it to an integer. So then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and say plugin, oops, plugin dot play economy core dot withdraw. And we want to withdraw from this player. So we'll say, or We'll say, yeah, player. So we'll say player dot get unique ID dot to string. And then the amount is going to be amount. And we'll go ahead and copy this and then we'll say deposit player. All right, guys, so I am totally stupid. Uh, I'm just now realizing that in my deposit player and withdrawal player, I was doing plugin dot player hash map uh, contains value and not looking for contains key uh, so make sure you go ahead and do that I actually went ahead and made a new method here um, to actually check for um, to check to see if they're inside the player hash map because uh, I have a feeling we're gonna be using that a lot in this particular class uh, so if they are inside of the hash map uh, it's going to return true if not it's going to return false and then it won't let you pay so now you can see there if we run ahead and pay you can see that we paid ourselves a lot of money 5,000 into music and I pay myself a lot of money uh, how much money do I actually have let's open up our, our database here just to see okay so I'm gonna set my balance back to 100 um, <coughs> now remember the way that we set this up it's going to with it's 
going to with it's going to do each one no matter what right so it's going to execute this withdrawal um and then it's also going to execute this deposit money or deposit to player even if we don't have enough money for it um just because of the way we set it up now like i said before what you guys should really do is you should use the double string here and you should either you should use the sender's uuid and then the receiver's uuid um, probably going to be the best way to do that um, but let's go ahead in here and obviously we can say pay 50 Malik and I can pay myself 50. This sh yeah, so this is not going to change because we're using the same um, values. We're using what I what I own, but you can see here if I do 150, it's going to tell me that I don't have enough money, but then it's going to tell me I've been paid. And then if we refresh this, I'm going to have 250. So just make sure if you're going to use this in an actual plugin that you sort of separate these and you use uh, either this deposit player here or this withdraw player here or you set these up to do however you want to do it maybe these are all maybe this is the only one that can be run through game and then these ones are all the ones that you can run in console up to you um, but that's all i got for you guys so sorry that this video has been split up in kind of a few parts um to be honest i'm not really sure if i'm going to be dealing with a whole lot of these ones here i might um, but I might also kind of stop the series here. Um, a lot of these are really repetitive and it's going to be a lot of the same sort of idea and you know methods to the madness. Um, checking to see if they have an account. If they have an account, you're going to get their balance. So like create bank, it's literally just going to be the same as create account. Um, you know, the way we do our create command right now, it creates both of them, but you can have it so it does it separately. Um, I don't really feel as if I need to really explain how to do that because I feel like you guys have learned how to really connect each individual piece now and you'll be able to do it. You know, with bank withdrawal, you could easily do this with signs. Um, there's tons and tons and tons and tons of ways uh, that you can execute all of this and do all of this. But I just don't think that I'm going to show you all of it just for the sheer fact that uh, I don't think it's necessary because like I said, it's, it's just going to be super super repetitive and you can check on the vault api um github for what each one of these does and uh, hopefully that'll be helpful for you guys so yeah thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time